All right, everybody, come at you again with a long-awaited, or something that I've definitely been waiting a while for ever since I got this reel. Today, I received the Bayless kit for my Vanstall VR50. So, we're going to go ahead and put this on the reel. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. I know Vanstall's already made a video on how to do it on the other VR reels. I believe this is a little bit different. Some of the tools you might need are probably going to think they're a little bit smaller than the every other VR reel there is. But we're going to going to go ahead and dive into it. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. And then I also want to do another reel comparison because I really believe this bail makes this reel look a lot bigger on, on camera than it really is because holding it in real life it's a lot smaller than the install uh, 150 and in that my previous video that I did when I first got this reel this thing almost looked like the same size as a 200 when watching that video back so I want you guys to actually get a better better understanding of the size of this reel <clears throat> also I just want to go into how I actually got this this kit so I did an update video, um, I believe two or three videos ago, and kind of let you guys know that I called Van Stahl and they still hadn't got the kits in. So about a week after, not even a week after, I think it was like four or five days after I had called them, um, if you follow j &H Tackle on Instagram or Facebook, you saw that they posted a picture. My daughter's waking up. <clears throat> All right, let's get back to it. She has been fed, bathed, and fed again, and now is in bed a couple hours later. But let's go ahead and knock this video out. Like I was saying before, if you follow j &H on Instagram or Facebook, you've seen that they've they posted a picture of a Van Stahl VR50. It was a silver one with a black manual kit on it. So when that happened, I called Van Stahl back and they said they still did not have the Bayless kits in stock, still waiting for the manufacturer. So I went on J&H Track to see, what, you know, see if I could um, order one from their website and they were out of stock. So I, I didn't message them and ask any questions. So I don't know if that was just they sent them you know, one or how that worked. But anyways... About a week after that, I'm scrolling through eBay, as you guys can probably tell, on the box, and I see silver ones and black ones for sale. So I went ahead and bought one. I will put the name of the seller up somewhere on the screen. I believe it's a bait shop. Um, somewhere, let me look on this box. Somewhere in New Jersey. So I'll put the seller's name in case you guys are looking for him because I know last time I looked, he still had quite a few for sale. Before I forget, one more thing I'm going to talk about at the end of this video is kind of a little bit of what to expect from the channel in the upcoming weeks and months because we do have some stuff planned that should be pretty cool. Alright, let's go ahead and start putting this makeup kit on this reel. Alright, just like the other one, and start by taking off the spool. Set this off to the side. So here, got my tool. Came with the reel. Oops. Let me get this situated where I can get this joker off of here. If I can get it off, these threads are backwards, so there she went. She moved a little bit. Let's go ahead and hit it again. All right, this thing's on here pretty tight. There we go. This joker. Get 
this off over here. Got this separated from the reel. So, like they said before, they have changed these out to Allen screws. I believe in their video that they posted, they're actually just a Phillips head screwdriver. So messing around with this already, these are a size smaller than the Bandstall VR, um, I believe the 125 and up. I believe it's a size 10 Allen wrench that you need. This is a size 9 that I'm using. So you guys can see the very top size 9 for this. Take a second, so I'll probably fast forward through this. to take these off. So if you've seen the video before, remember you got to take this manual out of the actual bale and put it back into and put it back into the kit. Not manual, but you gotta use this roller. this manual off we have to get this washer out of here now oh, actually it wasn't that bad see a little washer start messing around with this part of the kit now for the actual kit that I was sent pop that in here Okay, we got that popped in, the roller. All right, now that we got the manual together, make sure you don't grab your old arm, because that's what I was doing. I've been spending like 20 minutes trying to put the manual on that freaking arm. So, so you need your, your Allen screw. like that so you don't have to put a screw in the screws already in there you see you have a leg so these two two notches they just kind of split that in half can you can you guys make that out
something you will need from the old arm you'll need this little piece right here set that in there set this right in here once we get it lined up what we're doing is trying to line that up take one of your allen screws from before Get that started. Tighten all that up a little bit. Don't want to forget to drop your counterbalance. We'll go ahead and do that real, right quick. It's just this Allen screw right here. twisting. Alright. Grab this with the pliers and then unscrew it. Sorry if you guys can't see what I'm doing. This is it's kind of tough to get to. Okay, got it all out. Just going to screw these back together so I don't lose them. This is just the other side for your counterbalance. Now that you got the bill skin on there, same, same. Just gonna line this up. There she is, now it's just putting the reel back together.
That is it. Hi y'all, it's the next day and I just um, wanted to finish this video off. It got kind of late last night, so I figured I'd finish it this this morning. So this is the Mania kit. It is on the reel. So my thoughts, I think it looks great on the reel. But let me go ahead and grab my 150 so you guys can see the compar comparison. And then we'll finish this video off. All right, so these are the reels side by side. Hopefully this is a little bit better comparison. Put them up like this. You can tell there's a big spool size difference. Big difference in the size of the reel. Okay, now to finish this video off, I kind of want to talk about what's going to happen in the future. So, when you guys are actually watching this video, the first trip that I'm about to talk about has probably already happened. So we are, or it's in the middle of me doing it. So we are heading to Fort Worth this weekend. So I'm gonna get to do some more more pond fishing, some better pond fishing. Um, last time I was there, I, I made a video. It was on Thanksgiving. I'll have that video at, at the end of this video so you guys can click and watch it and see what we did the weather was a lot worse than what it's supposed to be this weekend it's supposed to be nice this weekend so we're going to get down there be able to do that coming up in a few weeks we've also got a trip planned to go up to oklahoma we're going to stay out in the park out there and we're going to do something a little bit different that we haven't done on this channel so i'm really excited about that um i'll go ahead and tell you guys we're, we're going to do a little bit of trout fishing so that should be pretty cool. Uh, I've only done a little bit of trout fishing throughout my life, but we're really excited to do that. So that's something to look forward to in the next few weeks. And then my most exciting thing, the thing that I'm, I'm most hyped for is in April, we are taking another trip to Florida. So we're gonna be getting those peer videos in. Uh, I haven't got to spring, Pier fish in two years now, so I am super stoked about that. So you guys stay tuned. We got a lot of cool stuff coming to the channel. Kind of some things you guys get to look forward to. And hopefully I'll be able to create some pretty awesome content with these next couple trips that we're going to take. There's also one more trip. I'm not going to talk about it right now until it gets closer, but we, we might have something pretty sweet happening this summer as well. But once that gets closer, I'll let you guys know. So definitely, um, if you guys like the video, please give it a like. Please let somebody know about, about the video. Please subscribe. Um, it really helps me out. So thank you guys for watching. 